Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a green smoky eye. Um, I just feel like there's such a bad perception around um, green eyeshadows and you know, oh you can't wear them, they're not flattering, but they are extremely flattering. They work for brown, hazel, blue, they, they work on almost all eye colours and they really do enhance them. It's something that's a little bit more fun, but you can make a green eye very, very, very sexy. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Okay, so I have already applied my moisturizer and eye cream and now I am just going in with the L'Oreal Brow Pumper in brown and I'm just going to fill my brows in. Now I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 1.5 and I'm going to use this just to highlight the brows, neaten them up and almost sharpen them and usually I wouldn't do this on a daily basis but if I'm going all out on a makeup look I will do this and it really does make a huge difference to enhance the brows. out with the pointy part of the beauty blender. Then I'm going to take the same Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid as usual. And blend it out. Then taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and I'm going to set all of that concealer in place. Now I'm taking the shade Smoky Emerald in the Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon pencils and I am going to use this as a base for the green eyeshadow colour I'm going to be applying. This will just make it last longer and also I am obsessed with these Colour Chameleon pencils. They are incredible, they are so pigmented. I have, I'm pretty sure as you can tell, an obsession with Charlotte Tilbury. just uh, applying that onto the eye with the pencil, straight from the pencil and with these pencils they do dry and they set quite quickly because they're meant to last all day so you have to go in quickly with your finger and really smudge it out. Then I am taking the Charlotte Tilbury Rebel palette and I'm going to take the enhanced shade and I'm just going to pop that into the inner corners of my eye just to brighten it up. I am obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, they are just so finely milled and just really really good quality and now I'm taking the green shade and I am going to apply that all over the eyelid using a MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to keep applying that colour taking it and applying it and blending it out and I know that you know green it can be quite scary it's quite a colour that you know is bold and it's out there but if you do it this way and you make it smoky and almost like sensual, it does look good. Now I'm taking another blending brush and I'm going to dip that into the, the smoke shade in this palette, which is like a almost greeny, tealy colour. It's just a, maybe one shade darker. I'm just going to apply that on the outer corners just to give it a little bit more of a definition. But as you can see, these greens, they all just kind of blend in together. But it's just giving that a bit of definition. and I am just going to smudge that in on my lash line. I also just wanted to say that it is very important when doing this type of smoky eye, you must always bring the colour on the bottom of the eye. It just will make it make your eyes pop just a lot more. Now 
now finally using all the colors in this palette i'm going to go into the last shade which is like a very finely milled glitter now a lot of people i've read complain about these eyeshadows because they say that the glitter isn't like boom you know in your face glitter but this is charlotte tilbury you, you would expect something which is delicate and as you can see when i apply that it just makes the eyes look luxurious almost because that product is so finely milled and you just need to put it on your finger and just pack it on and now i'm just taking my eyelash colors i think these are number seven ones and what i'm doing is i'm going to take the eyelash i'm going to clamp it and then i'm going to bring my arm around and hold it like that and as you will see this gives your eyelashes a very strong curl then i am taking the false lash wing effect mascara from l'oreal and i really do like this one it can be a little bit clumpy uh, but you know i didn't want to apply false lashes with this look so i just wanted a nice black mascara now i'm taking my nars pro prime and i love this primer it's got spf 30 in and it's super hot and sunny here at the moment and i cannot express enough how much spf is important to me so it's perfect and it really, the makeup applies so beautifully on top of this. Going in with my good old Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I'm obsessed with at the minute, in the shade 5. Dotting that all over my face with my fingers, and then I'm going to blend it out using my Beauty Blender. Now I am taking the Bourjois Radiance Reveal uh, Concealer and this is an incredible concealer and also super affordable and I would say it's more of a colour correcting concealer, it is so perfect for under your eyes, I'm using the shade Light and it really is great for under the eyes. Wait till you see just how much it really brightens the under eye area. It just it makes such a difference and then straight away before I do the rest of my concealer and face I'm going to set that in place with the translucent powder again and a fluffy brush this is just a brush I got with a Lancome palette and then I'm just going to take some of the translucent powder on the edge of my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to neaten up and sharpen the edges of that green eyeshadow to give a more winged effect. Then I am taking my good old Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer and I'm going to just pop that down the centre of my face and onto any blemishes I have and then I'm going to blend it out. Now I am taking the Chanel Tan de Soleil, or Soleil de Tan, we've been over this, I'm not quite sure how to say it, and I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush, surprisingly, I know a lot of people will swear applying this with a dense brush, but I quite like it with a fluffy brush, because if I use a light hand it almost gives, almost gives like this airbrushed tan effect. And I'm not just, I'm not contouring with this, I'm actually going to bring it over the cheeks. I'm just going to bring a bit more colour into the skin, onto my forehead, and just like bronzing up the skin a little bit. Now I am taking my MAC blush, this is from the limited edition collection. I love this blush, it's called uh, Hip Hipness. And it's very pigmented, so I'm just going to dot that. And now, to just make it seamless, I'm going to blend it with my finger. Then I'm taking the Becca Highlighter in Moonstone, which is gorgeous. I mean, Becca Highlighters are incredible. And as you can see, that just really gives it a pop. Nothing too dramatic. I want to keep the face quite natural, well blended, because it's all about the eyes. Now I am going in with my lip liner 
liner, one of my favourite all time lip liners, uh, Spice from MAC, which I'm pretty sure you've heard of before, I mean so many makeup artists love this product, and when I tried it I fell in love with it. I am going to overline my lips slightly, if you want to overline your lips I would recommend not drawing the cupid's bow in, but almost drawing a line between the two cupid's bows, it just gives a bit of a fuller effect. Over that I'm going to apply the matte, uh, matte lipstick in the shade Honey Love, which is one of my all-time favourite matte lipsticks. I cannot express how much I love this. This is my second one. I go through these like crazy. It's one of the ones that I reach for on a daily basis. I just wanted to keep it super natural because like I'm saying, all the emphasis is on the eye and I just really like it. Then I'm going to set everything in place with Pix Plus and usual. And this is the final look. As you can see, it's really not that scary to wear a green, light, green eye. If you're confident and you do all the right steps, you keep the face very healthy and fresh. It can be such a sexy, really mesmerizing look. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you get your makeup out and you create really beautiful green eyes and tag me in your photos if you have done this look or you've tried to copy this look and don't forget to subscribe and like and follow me on all of my social media platforms thanks for watching guys